doesn't work. Yeah. Just 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 briefly then what you mentioned just the you know the, the downside to ceramic on ceramic. What 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 might those uh, be? the big one is squeaking. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have a ceramic yeah. socket and a ceramic ball, yeah. a percentage of patients will say that uh, you know once they've fully healed, they are aware of a feeling of squeaking in the hip, or even people will hear other people will hear that their hip squeaks as they walk. And and although it may not make a difference to the longevity of the implant, it's not a particularly pleasant thing to have a squeaky hip joint. And in those situations where we've actually retrieved squeaking ceramic on ceramic hip joints, you actually see where the ball and the socket have been rubbing atypically and you get uh, stripes of wear on the socket, uh, which are clearly indicating that biomechanically it's not working the way it should do. Um, and um, yeah, it's not a barrier to having a ceramic on ceramic hip replacement, uh, but it's something to be borne in mind when you're deciding for your particular patient what's the right alternative. Okay.